Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm going to do a comparison between this Black & Decker 16 ounce single serve coffee maker and the Krups 14 ounce single serve coffee maker. Now the Black & Decker, it's only $25. Now the Krups is $43. The Krups definitely feels like it's made a little bit better. The Black & Decker is pretty much an all plastic tumbler coffee maker feel. But I like that it does do 16 ounces and it does take up a smaller footprint. Okay, so the Black & Decker does come with a 16-ounce travel mug. Now, it's all plastic. The Krups, this is a 14-ounce travel mug. And they get to put the lid on there. So this is made out of metal. So the Black & Decker will fit a 7-inch travel mug. The Krups is about a 6 and a quarter. You can take this little drip tray out, but you got to make sure it fits in this little circle area. The circle area is about 2 and 3 quarters, and then you might be able to go up to about 6 and a half inch. Around the side, they're about the same. You got a button you're gonna press, that's gonna start the coffee maker. This one's a little different and it's got a light up here. The light is in the switch there. So up top, they both look about the same. They got a brew head. You're gonna put the water back here. Whatever amount of water you put back here, that's what it's gonna brew. They both have these permanent filters. The Krups does not have a filter part on the bottom, but the filter part is made out of plastic and it does go all the way up and down. The Black & Decker is a little different. It doesn't go quite all the way up and down, but it does have filter material on the bottom, but they're both made out of plastic. So the Krups recommends four tablespoons uh, coffee with 14 ounces. The Black & Decker recommends three tablespoons with 16 ounces, but I have put up to four, uh, four tablespoons into this one. And I did find this one, three tablespoons was about the right amount for 14 ounces. Okay, so I've got the water in both of them. I'm gonna do 16 ounces Black & Decker, three and a half tablespoons. 14 ounces in the Krups and three and a half tablespoons. There's the tumblers. Okay, so you're simply gonna press this button and press this button back here. The light will come on here and then there's a light on this switch here. Let's start the timer and see how long they take. Okay, so they're both really fast coffee makers. They both start brewing at the same time. Okay, so let's take a peek up here at the Black & Decker and the Krups. Okay, so the water, it's been about a minute and a half, 197 for the Black & Decker, almost 198. Let's check the Krups. It's about 190, I did see 193. Again, there's what the Krups looks like. And the Black & Decker. Got more of a bloom with the Black & Decker. So the Black & Decker, the coffee coming out the bottom, very hot, about 196, 197 coming out the bottom. Krups is a little hard to see, but I did see one, 186 coming out the bottom. Okay, so it's been three and a half minutes. There's the Krups, the Black & Decker is finishing up. Okay, so they're both finishing up at the same time. The Krups definitely finished about 10 seconds more. The Black & Decker's got just a little bit left to go. Okay, so let's take both and be careful. Both of these make really, really hot coffee. So the Krups is right around 173, 174. That's very hot. The Black & Decker, look, you're around 180, 181. Okay, so let's take a look up at top. They both brewed pretty much about the same. Very, cleanup is very simple. You're going to take this, get rid of your coffee grounds. Both of these are dishwasher safe. You know, the Krups does have a little drip tray where the Black & Decker doesn't. Okay, so I've been tasting the coffee out of both of them. Again, the Krups I felt like made a little bit a darker, a little bit richer coffee. That's just because I think I was using less water. We're here, over here on the 16 ounces. Boy, this was a very hot cup of coffee. Stayed hot for a really long time. You know, the tumbler is just not the best. Um, you know, it doesn't seal. So you gotta, it, it will spill. You know, same with the Krups. It's a little nicer tumbler, but you can move the lever. But I, you know, man, the Black & Decker, if you don't mind this just kind of an overall plasticky feel, a little bit cheaper look and, and manufacturing, the Krups definitely feels nicer. It's got some metal on the outside, you know, a little more refined, but boy, the Black & Decker makes a very nice cup of coffee. And, it, and it, you can put a bigger travel mug in it and it takes up less footprint. So if there's any other comparisons you'd like to see, leave them in the comments down below. I really appreciate everybody's support. And if you could, please like and subscribe.